SQL Inventory Manager provides fundamental information on your SQL servers to help you keep track of and manage your database environment without having to be an expert in Microsoft SQL Server. It gives a broad enterprise-wide view of all of your SQL servers through automated discovery as well as simple actionable information about the state of your environment. View core information such as how many databases exist, whether they're being backed up and a picture of the overall availability as well as notification emails so that you can take action as needed. Starting in the administration section and working backwards, we get a picture of how the tool is configured and can see some of the fundamentals behind the management. Additional custom inventory fields can be applied to expand the level of detail that's stored in the server, instance and database levels. Tags can be added and modified for the purpose of segmentation and also assigned at this point to existing servers and databases. Health checks show specifically what Inventory Manager looks for and alerts on. These options can be enabled and disabled to satisfy any requirements. The next stage is to translate those alerts into feedback from the system. Users can subscribe to alerts, which sends an email once an issue has been identified. Alerts can be for the system in its entirety or refined by tags and tag groups. SQL Inventory Manager has the ability to traverse multiple domains and IP ranges and as such multiple accounts can be configured in the system to satisfy security in each. The discovery options indicate how frequently new SQL servers will be identified and what level of detail can be used to find them. The default scan will periodically look for the browser service but there are also very specific methods of analyzing IP ranges and individual domains. For each option, specific credentials can be used, starting with the Inventory Manager service account, ad hoc domain users, or even all of the users that were created in the previous step. While collections take place, Inventory Manager has the ability to automate the registration of each server, meaning they will be managed and protected without user intervention, with the added option of excluding certain additions for the purpose of efficiency and housekeeping. When the discovery has taken place, some lists will be shown in the Instances tab. For instances that have been found but not automatically registered, they will be shown in the Discovered list. Anything in here can be cherry-picked and added manually. During this process, instances can be identified as cloud-based, note the Azure and Amazon Web Support. Different management credentials and metadata, such as owners, locations, comments and tags can be applied. New tags can be added for management and assistance with reporting further down the line. Once the wizard is complete, the instance will be monitored within the tool. Selecting an instance at this point drills down to the specifics and shows more detail around ownership and port details, file size and locations, even a list of applications that commonly connect. In the server summary, we can see the custom inventory fields that have been added and modify the data within. Tags can be added here for more granular control of the server and database inventory. To add database level metadata, select it from the list and populate the resulting window with the necessary detail, which includes a section for tags and custom field data. There are also lists to identify decommissioned servers, instances that we can ignore completely, and of course the list of instances currently managed in the tool. The remaining list shows SQL Server licensing detail identifying the addition and a breakdown of processor information. For each of the lists, a filter can be applied to aid the sorting and management, something that can be expanded on for the purpose of reporting in the Explorer section. Here, a graphical breakdown can be given to identify the impact of activities and size for certain locations, departments, management users, and even database specifics. The information here can be exported for referential purposes into PDF, XLS and XML formats. Finally, there is a detail provided in the dashboard, the culmination of all of the administration and configuration steps seen already. Predominantly, there is a list of health checks and their corresponding recommendations for resolution. Multiple qualifying objects will be grouped and consolidated into a single recommendation, in this case log files that are at risk of filling up. In the lower section, there is high-level performance and availability detail for each of the instances being managed, which can be drilled into by clicking the hyperlink. 
and on the right hand side is summary information detailing the environment being monitored and showing a tag cloud that can be selected to drill into the explorer section for more detailed reporting. SQL Inventory Manager sits within the IDERA dashboard which is a unified common web framework for IDERA products. In this example, multiple enterprise tools make up a central management platform where dashboards and management views can be created and modified and users added and configured.